year is dedicated in memory of Rechaleya Bas Reb Chaim Tzvi. I hear Neshama have in Aliyah. We're up to page 108 in the Mitzuda edition of the Kitzah Shulchan Arach. Simen Tes Zayin. Se'if Hey. Up to this point, the Kitzer has described the basic halachas pertaining to interruptions between the various sections of the Shema, Bein HaPrakim, the, between the blessings of Shema as well as the Shema itself, as well as the ramifications of when, if one does interrupt, uh, where one goes back to when continuing the, when continuing the brachas of Shema or continuing the Shema. In Sif Hay, the Ketzer now points out that although previously we explained that one is allowed to interrupt, but Emtza HaPerak, that's with between paragraphs for a number of items, such as to answer the answer Amen to Akel Hakadosh, the Shomayat Tfila, answering Amen Yehesh Mei Rabba, answering Kedusha, answering Damir and Bi'alma Vimru Amen, as well as according to some authorities, even answering Amen to another bracha. And in the middle of a parak, and that's in the middle of a section, there are still things one is allowed to answer, such as the Amen of Amel HaKadosh, Amen of Shemat Tfila, certainly not Amen for other blessings, for other brachas. In Sif Hay, the Kitzer tells us that there are exceptions. Masha Marnu Shemutar Lafsik Bemsa Perak the Dvarm Shamarnu. That that we said when it's allowed to interrupt for the various permissible interruptions, whether Nehayir, Nehakavod, etc. So Eino Hadin, this does not apply with respect to the Pasuk of Shema Yisrael. And so too does it not apply to Baruch Shem Kval Machuso Liolam Voed. Ki Bohem Osor Lahavsek Bechal Inyon. One is never allowed to interrupt the first verse of the Shema, nor is one to allow to interrupt for that matter the Baruch Shem for any purpose, other than of course where there, God forbid, be danger to life, so that would be an exception. But out of honor, out of respect, or responding even to Kedusha, to Kaddish, in ways that are permissible, so within this first verse, as well as the Baruch Shem, would be absolutely prohibited. It's interesting, Baruch Shem is not part of the text of the Shema. The reason why the Baruch Shem is recited in undertone is to remind us of this, that the Baruch Shem, according to Chazal, according to our tradition, is the response of Yaakov Avinu as Jacob, our great-great-grandfather, lay on his deathbed. So he gathered his sons around that he was concerned. Maybe somebody is not exactly faithful. So his children responded. The, tr- the twelve Shvatim answered, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Let's hear, O Israel. Let's, we're all on the same page. We believe in the same God that you believe in. To which Yaakov, in his gratitude, then responded, Ah! Baruch Shem Kival Machus Praise the Lord, may His throne be for eternity, forever and forever. So says, say Chazal, wait a second. To say Baruch Shem out loud, so that we can't really do, it's not in the Torah. Moshe Rabbeinu didn't say it. It's not part of the Chumash. To omit Baruch Shem is also improper, in as much as Yaakov did yes recite the Baruch Shem in conjunction, of the Shema, with the Shema, in conjunction with the Shema. Therefore, we make a compromise. We don't omit the Baruch Shem but we do say it in an undertone. Nonetheless, and as much as it's associated with the Shema Yisrael, somewhat counterintuitively, I might have imagined that Baruch Shem is even less than a regular verse of the Shema. It's not from the Chomish. Says the kids are no. Although there are poskim who question this halacha, the view of the kids of Shulchan Arach is that Baruch Shem assumes the same stringency as the first verse of the Shema, which would preclude any interruption whatsoever other than in a case of danger.
Vafilu Hamelech Shoel Bishlomo, even if a Jewish king were a non Jewish king, a non Jewish head of state, they would not present a physical danger to his life. Lo Yavsik Lahashivo, he would not be allowed to interrupt to answer. And so to a second exception. The actual text of the Shema ends with the words, Ani Hashem Elokechem. Nonetheless, Chazal teach that in as much as the verse in the Navi declares Vashem Elokim MS, so we try to associate, even though MS is really the first word in MS Vyatsev, and therefore, rightfully speaking, Ani Hashem Elokechem should be the end of Ishma. And MS should represent the beginning of the next of the next section, the beginning of the bracha following the Shema. So the Allah is that no, one is not allowed to interrupt between between Ani Hashem Elokechem and MS. That in as much as the pasuk says Hashem Elokechem MS, Ben Ani Hashem Elokechem Lemes Vliyatzev Gamkein Lo Yavsiklal, one should not interrupt at all. Mishum Dechsev.